Good morning. I'm Dave West, the Congregational Life Leader for Oneida First in St. Paul's United Methodist Churches. I am excited to be here, and I'm so excited you are here. We do our best to make everyone feel welcome, and we encourage you to come back again and again, online and in person. Now for the children's message, shall we? The scripture reading I'm going to be working from is from Daniel 12, 3. Those who are wise will shine like the brightness of heavens, and those who lead many to righteousness like the stars forever and ever. Again, those who are wise will shine like the brightness of the heavens, and those who lead many to righteousness like the stars forever and ever. I'm going to be reading a story which has been adapted by someone, I don't know who, from the story of Carolina Sherwin Bailey. But first, a riddle. Something to think on while I'm reading the story. Where can we find a little red house with no doors, no windows, and a star inside? Not a star being a movie star, but an actual star. Something to ponder. Hmm. And this is for all kids. The little ones of age and the kids of all experience at levels. Enjoy being a kid with a riddle. It's fun. Now for the story. Once there was a little boy who played almost all day. He had played with all his toys and all the games he knew, and he could not think of anything else to do. So he went to his mother and asked, Mother, what shall I do now? His mother said, I know about a little red house with no doors and no windows and a star inside. You can find it if you really, really, really look hard for it. So the little boy went outside and there he met a little girl. He asked, Do you know where there is a little red house with no doors and no windows and a star inside? The little girl said, No, I don't know where there is a little red house with no doors and no windows and a star inside. But you can ask my daddy. He's a farmer and he knows lots of things. He's down by the barn and maybe he can help you. So the little boy went to the farmer down by the barn and said, Do you know where there's a little red house with no doors and no windows and a star inside? No, said the farmer. I don't know. Why don't you ask grandmother? She's in her house up on the hill. She's very wise and knows many things. Maybe she can help you. So the little boy went up the hill to grandmother's house and asked, Do you know where there is a little red house with no doors, no windows, and a star inside? No, grandmother answered, I don't know. But you could ask the wind. For the wind goes everywhere and I'm sure he can help you. So the little boy went outside and asked the wind, Do you know where I can find a little red house with no doors and no windows and a star inside? And the wind said, Oh, I'm not good at imitating wind. Forgive me, Mr. Wind. And it sounded to the little boy as if the wind said, Come with me! Come with me! The way I did it, it sounded like Halloween. I wouldn't go. But in this case, in the story, it's asking you to come with him. So the little boy ran after the wind. He ran through the grass and into the orchard, and there on the ground he found a little house. A little red house with no doors and no windows and a star inside. He picked it up. He filled both of his hands, it filled both of his hands, 
he ran home to his mother and said, Look, mother, I found a little red house with no doors, no windows, but I cannot see the star. Ah, said the mother. So the mother took the knife, and now this time it's not a mistake. I'm leaving what it is not in the picture, so you'll be surprised when I bring it up. She take, took the knife like this one and cut this item in half. And I think I'm going to cut it a little bit again. Now, I'm going to get a little closer now to show you the star. It's white and it's red. And before I start cutting, it was an apple. Apples are good for you. They're awesome. They're full of vitamins and minerals. And I always said to many of my friends, when they said, an apple a day keeps the doctor away, I said, I can't have one. My father's a doctor. I don't want him to go away. But here is an apple, and you can see the star even better. And inside the star are little seeds seeds of faith like mustard seeds but in this case seeds that can be spread out as we reach out to all with a gift of God God put the star in the apple it is quite true inside of each one of our hearts there is a Christian star the star of Christ and these seeds are those stars yet to be for the hearts of those who have yet to know Jesus Christ. These seeds contain so many apples we don't even know. I can count how many seeds are in this apple. I cannot count, as Robert Schuller said, how many apples are in one seed. God knows. And God will help us to spread the seeds around to reach out to the world. I am confident you are going to do awesome, my friends. You have created great joy for me to share with you these children's messages. I move now with this experience to St. Paul, I mean to Peterborough and Perryville United Methodist Churches where I hope to share similar messages to the people there. Your happiness, your joy, and your vibrant faith has helped me to grow forward, and I thank you. And God bless. Blessings to all. Plant your seeds. Plant the stars of Christ in the hearts of so many more in the Nida. Thank you.